Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another General Hospital Review. This week, I'll be discussing the big story of the week, or what we saw mostly of the week, and that was Shiloh and his dumbass. Sexy dumbass. <sighs> yeah, I was having trouble figuring out what to discuss this week, because I don't know. <laughs> but I guess I will discuss more Shiloh junk. So, he caught Sam going through, well, she wasn't going through anything. She was just about to leave his place and ran into him because she's become a really crappy P.I. since getting back with Jason. And so, somehow, Shiloh got the best of her because Sam is not now a weak bitch instead of a strong bitch. And got knocked out and he tied her up and put her in the freezer. And, of course, he calls Jason to let him know what's going on. And Jason comes and whoops his ass. Again, save Sam, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this is so fucking stupid. Sam can take care of her own self. She doesn't need Jason to come running to her rescue every two seconds. This is just ridiculous that they're writing Sam like this. It's just it, all this progress in making Sam the way that she was. Only to destroy it since Steve has been back. And it's just, I just don't get it. It's just, ugh, it just doesn't make any kind of sense. I hate it. They just totally ruined the character of Sam for me. Like, Sam was my favorite character. She's the whole reason why I watched because of Kelly Monaco. Because I watched her on Poor Charles. And I loved her on Poor Charles. And then I was found out she was on General Hospital, and so I started watching General Hospital to watch her, and all the stuff that they used to do for her, and it was just, like, amazing, and, I mean, they had some ups and downs, but for the most part, it was really awesome, and now they have her this weak bitch, and you and Jason come rescue her ass every two seconds, and I'm like, it's just horrible. Okay, <laughs> okay, rant over. <laughs> so Jason saves her, and then Shiloh goes on to his next task, and that is to... Oh, yeah, Sam stole the dri um, thumb drive, uh, or the U U USB drive, that had Drew's memories on it. And Shiloh stole it back, and then wanted to implant it in Cameron's brain. Which I still don't understand as Drew's memories. Why not get Drew and then put the memories in his head? It makes no fucking sense to me. It's just another way to not do anything for Drew. Or did they change it since Billy Miller is leaving? I don't know. Is that just could be? Actually, I don't know if he's officially leaving. I never saw official notice of him leaving. I just saw a lot of people say that he was leaving. So, I just assume he's leaving. So, maybe they just turned, changed the storyline because of that, I guess. I don't know. But... They randomly found Cameron, who was at the wrong place at the wrong time, and was trying to implant the memories in his head. But luckily, Franco found them, and Franco saved Cameron from Shiloh and the doctor, whose name I don't fucking remember. He's not important. Some old dude who wishes wishes that he could be like Rolf. Dr. Rolf from Days of Our Lives. <laughs> Rolf is the evil, do better evil doctor than you. Okay. You wish that you can be like Rolf, but you can't. No. And I'm a dork. <laughs> Anyways, so Franco decided to take Cameron's place and became the subject of Shiloh wanting to get, um, I forgot what he even wants, something in Drew's memory, I, I totally forgot about what it was, I'm thinking, I don't know, and now I think about it, it's very random, too, because, like, when did he decide, oh, now I want to remember something from the past, I don't get it. I don't know. This whole storyline makes no sense to me. It just... 
I don't know, Shiloh comes to town and is all like, where's Drew, where's Drew? And then he was all like, I am the God. And then he's like, oh, I want my baby. And then that, then he's like, oh, now I want something from Drew's past. And I'm like, this whole thing is just a bunch of crap. Like, seriously, it's not even worth reviewing. But here I am reviewing this crap. So... Anyways, Franco gets Drew's memories and he passes out or he gets drugged and then he's out cold in a hospital. Oh, the best part of this whole crappy thing is Drew and Curtis bust in the room all late though. A little too late, but bust in the room and like, bam, go down, bitch. <laughs> That's my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> it was really cool. They did that on Friday, or yesterday's episode. And, but they weren't in time to save Franco. <sighs> so, now I have to wait to see what's going to happen. Because Franco's still out cold. So, we have to wait. Um... I don't know what to think about the storyline because I know that Roger is going to knock this out of the park, but then I'm like, what's this going to do to Fritz? Like, he's not going to remember her. He's going to be Drew, who doesn't know anything about Elizabeth. He doesn't care. <laughs> so I'm wondering if he's going to try to get Kim away from Julian. Please. I'm so done with Kim and Julian, please. But then I'm like, no, because then Frank on Elizabeth. This hurts my friend's heart, it does. But we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen next. The General Hospital doesn't do pro weekly promos like Days Real Lives does, unfortunately. They just do on the next. And if you don't watch the episode live, you don't get to see what's coming up next. Yeah, because I don't get to watch it live Monday through Thursday. I watch it on Hulu. And I don't get that on the next General Hospital. So, I don't know what's going down. Plus, they're really bad at doing that. <laughs> I don't know, like, you compare Days of Our Lives promos to General Hospitals and... Days of our lives knocks it out the park all the time. General Hospital makes you wonder why the fuck you're watching. <laughs> I still wanted that, but then I remember I'm a Frizz fan and I'm a Chillo. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Um, Chase and Willow fan. I don't ship them that hard, but I do like them. And I'm a Jalexis fan. I still believe in them. I do, I do. And of course, I like the characters, and there's a few other characters that I like, so I still watch for them. So, anyways. Oh, I'm so tired. Anyways, that's it of my crappy General Hospital review for the week. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and leave a comment below and let me know how you're liking this Shiloh crap. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!